Once you've squared your pen blanks, you'll need to insert the blanks and bushings onto a pen mandrel. The mandrel mounts between centers on the lathe and supports the blanks for when you turn them to shape. The mandrel systems consist of a mandrel shaft, bushings, headstock end, tailstock end, and a knurled tightening nut. You only need one mandrel, and that mandrel will fit any pen kit you want to make. The bushings are specific to the pen kit that you make, and they serve two important purposes. First, some bushings may include a step, so if your kit's tube has a larger diameter, it will adapt and mount onto your mandrel. Second, the outside diameter of the bushings are the same diameter as your pen kit's components. So, once you turn the blank down to the bushings, the blanks will align with your pen components. Almost all wood turning lace use a tapered hole in the headstock spindle for mounting the mating accessories. The headstock spindle is designed for a male ended, slightly tapered shank to fit into it. The pressure of the two mating tapers, male and female, creates a friction fit that prevents slippage. The tapered hole on the headstock spindle will be a number one or number two Morse taper. The difference between a number one Morse taper and a number two is basically the length and angle of the taper. The best way to determine the Morse taper or MT size of your mandrel is to measure the hole opening the Morse taper fitting goes into. If the hole is about half an inch or 12 millimeters, it is an MT1 size. If the hole is about three quarter inches or 18 millimeters, it is an MT2 size. If you're still unsure of your Morse taper size, you can refer to your lace owner's manual. Slide the taper headstock end of the mandrel into the lace headstock. Then, position the bushings and blanks on the shaft. Support the larger diameter tube with the step on the bushing. Tighten the knurl nut to compress and secure the bushings and blanks to the shaft. Tighten the knurl nut just enough to keep the blanks from spinning on the mandrel while you turn. Different projects will use different bushing sizes, so consult your project instructions for the correct configuration. Slide the tailstock with the live tailstock center up to the mandrel until the center just comes in contact with the inside of the dimpled or cupped end of the mandrel shaft. Do not over tighten the tailstock or you will bow the mandrel, resulting in oval, off-center pens. If you over tighten the tailstock, the mandrel may bend and need to be replaced. An easy solution to prevent this from happening is to use a mandrel saver in the tailstock end of the lathe. Using the mandrel saver, the mandrel shaft goes through the hollow mandrel saver. The mandrel saver supports the outside of the mandrel shaft without putting pressure against its end. The mandrel saver can be used with or without the knurled nut. Without the knurled nut, tighten the assembly by advancing the tailstock wheel until the assembly is tight. 